So you browse the internet and everything seems just okay. Let's just head over to CNN.com, see what's new. It uploads well. Let's go to BBC.com. And yep, everything seems okay. So, but now you decide that you want to ping somewhere just to check that there's no connectivity issues. And it seems that you do not have a DNS result. So let's stop that and let's try to ping directly to Google's DNS server. And yet again, you have an issue with ICMP. So how do you get around with that? And how do you diagnose the issue behind that? So let's get back to our FortiGate. Let's log in. And probably one of the first things that I would have done is to diagnose sniffer packet any post let's just write down the IP address of our host and let's just see what happens all right let's just make that bigger and it seems let's stop that and it seems that I have an echo request but I'm not getting any echo response back only echo requests so that's not enough and it seems that um, packet capturing my traffic doesn't give me the um, solution to my problem so the next thing to do is to work at the kernel level and that is using the diag debug flow so let's just get back to our main command line let's clear the space here and, let, and let's diag debug enable diag debug filter now let's filter sorry diag debug flow filter let's filter our um, source which is the 10.0.4.9 and let's diag debug sorry for that diag debug flow trace start so what i'm actually doing here is that i'm debugging the source address 10.0.4.9 i'm doing a trace only on the first 10 packets so let's see now what happens and let's just stop that and see if i have any clue that will resolve my issue and yes there it is denied by forward policy check policy number two so i actually have a policy that denies icmp let's get back to my 48 let's look at my policies and that's right i have a policy which is stop icmp from my dmz where my ubuntu device sits towards my WAN interface now this exercise is is good since sometimes we have dozens of policies that we do not have time to check maybe they're unused policies from some time ago 
So Diag Debug Flow will work on the kernel level and will allow you to debug issues just like this one that I showed you now.